Hello, I'm Graham Lewis, and this is a quick video on generating Pascal's triangle. So if we consider a plus b to the power of 0, we get the answer 1. And then if we consider a plus b to the power 1, we get the answer 1a plus 1b. And if we consider a plus b squared, just multiplying those out quickly, we get 1a squared plus 2ab plus 1b squared. And then if we consider a plus b all cubed, and obviously you've got a little bit of algebra to do here, you get 1a cubed plus 3a squared b's plus 3ab squares plus 1b cubed. And I'll let you do the algebra there. And finally, if we do a plus b to the power of 4, and again you might have quite a bit of algebra to do, you'd get 1a to the power of 4 plus 4a cubed b plus 6a squared b squared. I'll just move this up here. Plus 4ab cubed plus 1b to the 4. Now what we're really interested in looking at here is the coefficients. And I'm sure you've already spotted a pattern in these coefficients of our terms when we write them in order in such a way. So, if we take, for example, the number 3 here, the number 3 is 1 add to the 2. If we take the number 6 here, the number 6 is 3 added to 3. And so we can write down very quickly the numbers for Pascal's triangle. So here are the numbers written out for Pascal's triangle for the first six rows. Notice that n equals 0 was for the a plus b to the power 0. Now Pascal's triangle is really useful for not only the binomial theorem um, and expanding polynomials, but many, many other aspects of mathematics as well. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, maybe you want to watch my next video arranging n items in a line in my counting playlist. Thank you.